What if OpenAI and loses Ilya Sutskever? Sam Altman said, I harbor zero ill will towards Ilya, but what does this imply? Sam also stated, I love and respect Ilya. I think he's a guiding light of the field and a gem of a human being. Let us try to further decode the message and speculate on what OpenAI and Sam Altman meant. But first, who is Ilya? Ilya Sutskeva is a prominent figure in the field of artificial intelligence, known for his contributions to deep learning and neural networks. Ilya has been a key contributor to the development of deep learning techniques. One of his notable contributions is the development of AlexNet, along with Alex Krzyzewski and Jeffrey Hinton, which was a groundbreaking neural network that significantly advanced the field of image recognition. He joined Google as part of the Google Brain team in 2013, where he continued his work in deep learning and neural networks. His time at Google included significant research and development in the area of machine learning. Ilya co-founded OpenAI in late 2015, along with prominent figures such as Elon Musk and Sam Altman. OpenAI is known for its significant contributions to AI research and development, particularly in the area of general-purpose learning algorithms. Under his guidance, OpenAI has developed several advanced AI systems, including GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer models. He has published numerous influential papers in the field of AI and machine learning. His work is widely cited, and he is considered one of the leading minds in artificial intelligence research. Here's where the speculation begins. As Sam wrote, Ilya is a guiding light of the field, which can also be translated as, he is one of the leading experts. From a psychological point of view, there is some truth in everything we humans say. No one doubts that Ilya is still one of the leading scientists for the advances in AI. But since the progress within the leading labs, especially those that have built the frontier models, is just staggering, to say the least. We can easily guess that these labs are becoming very attractive to other leading experts in the field. To name a few, there is Noam Brown, a genius in AI self-play advancements, a field that has just exploded in interest since the Q-Star model was leaked. Then, there is Andre Carpathy, another brilliant mind with both broad and deep knowledge of deep neural networks. And not to forget, Lukas Kaiser, whose work has been influential in advancing the state of the art in these areas. Each of these experts could be considered a leading light in the field of AI, trying to push reasoning capabilities to new heights. Let us come to a speculative conclusion. Sam Altman is back. OpenAI may have started slowly in the early days, but after a few years they have made incredible progress to the point where even the non-technical person can understand what AI could eventually mean for humanity. With this progress, OpenAI has attracted the absolute elite in the field of AI. Sam has overseen the funding and mentoring of a significant number of startups during his tenure as president of Y Combinator, so we can be sure that he also understands that the transfer of knowledge within a startup is more than just critical, but that is not even the main point of this speculation. Let's take a look at the progress of lithography. The shrinking of modern processing units called integrated circuits is very sophisticated, and only a few labs in the world can compete in this area. The same concept applies to frontier AI labs. The ability to move forward and achieve the next increment in such a complex and multi-dimensional field is only possible because of the resources and knowledge these labs already have. This means that starting from scratch is much harder than the building on existing platforms, and these types of platforms are already highly advanced. So even if Ilya leaves open AI, Sam knows that the stone is already rolling, and it is a huge stone that will not be easy to stop. What do you think? Let us speculate together in the comments. In any case, it is an incredibly interesting time to be alive, so take control and make the most of it.